This is the Embraer Legacy 600, a super mid-size aircraft that offers a luxurious three-zone cabin, and today we're going inside it. The spacious cabin is undeniably one of its standout features. It can accommodate up to 13 passengers, and the cabin itself is thoughtfully divided into three zones, providing plenty of room for passengers to stretch out and relax. With dimensions of 6 feet or 1.83 meters in height, 6 feet 11 inches or 2.10 meters in width, it dwarfs many competitors in terms of sheer volume. The galley is compact yet fully equipped, hosting a range of appliances to cater to all passenger culinary needs. But it is the seating area that truly steals the show. The cabin, touted as 60% larger than super mid-sized jets, offers comfortable seating for up to 13 passengers, although 10 is more reasonable. The leather armchairs are plush and incredibly comfortable, allowing for a relaxed journey. The side-facing sofa adds an element of homeliness and comfort that is usually missing in such aircraft. Each seat is anchored and can be transformed into a bed, offering flexibility for long-haul journeys. This attention to detail makes even the longest flights pleasurable. One feature that stands out is the conference table. While business jets often pride themselves on offering working facilities, the Legacy 600 takes this to another level. The table is large enough to facilitate group discussions, making it an ideal environment for holding meetings or conferences while in the air. Aft of the cabin, the stateroom provides a private and serene space for rest or relaxation. The fittings are tastefully designed with dark wood paneling, cream-colored furniture, and plush leather seating offering an air of sophistication and elegance. A roomy, private lavatory is aft, while a second is optional and would be forward-positioned. In terms of entertainment, the Legacy 600 does not disappoint. There is Wi-Fi connectivity throughout the cabin, a feature that is becoming increasingly important for both business and leisure travelers. In addition, the aircraft is equipped with a state-of-the-art in-flight entertainment system. Cabin amenities include two 17-inch flat-screen monitors, DVD players with individual controls, and seats that fully recline. 22 large windows and full LED lighting make the cabin feel exceptionally spacious. For those concerned about cabin noise, the Legacy 600 is known for its quiet operation. Early reports of cabin noise and fit issues have been addressed, and the ride is peaceful and comfortable. The engines are whisper quiet, barely perceptible over the soft hum of the cabin's air conditioning. The 240 cubic foot or 6.8 cubic meter baggage compartment can hold 1,000 pounds or 450 kilograms and can be accessed in flight through the roomy lavatory. The lavatory contains a generous wardrobe closet, ideal for in-flight clothes changing. The cockpit is built around a Honeywell Primus Elite avionics suite, a state-of-the-art glass cockpit that displays a plethora of essential flight data for the pilots. From the main panel, pilots are presented with primary flight, navigation, and engine data, along with several ancillary information regarding the aircraft's overall status. The flight data is displayed on high-resolution LCD screens, offering excellent readability in various lighting conditions. The suite offers advanced functionalities and intuitive controls, all arranged in a way to streamline the pilot's workflow. Even in challenging flight scenarios, such as night approach, the Honeywell Primus Elite avionics suite enables pilots to monitor and control their flight trajectory accurately and efficiently. The avionics are backed up by a range of other systems designed to improve flight safety, such as the Traffic Collision Avoidance System. One of the most important elements of the cockpit is its fly-by-wire control system. This system, which has been praised for its robust and well-executed design, offers precise control over the aircraft's flight surfaces, reducing pilot workload and allowing for smoother, more accurate maneuvering. The system also includes a smart auto-brake feature that can help to improve landing performance and safety. In addition, the Legacy 600 incorporates several other systems designed to enhance safety and operational efficiency. These include a robust landing gear, 
a user-friendly fuel system that automatically balances fuel, and a brake-by-wire system. For flight operations in adverse weather, the aircraft comes equipped with a multi-scan weather radar and wings designed for optimal icing protection. The cockpit also includes several other considerations for pilot comfort and efficiency. The seats are designed to provide ample support during long flights, and the layout of the cockpit ensures that all controls and displays are within easy reach. Additionally, the design of the cockpit glass reduces glare and ensures a good field of vision in various flight conditions. On the maintenance side, Embraer has focused on simplicity and cost reduction. This means the cockpit systems are designed to be robust and reliable, reducing the likelihood of equipment failure and minimizing maintenance costs. Talking about performance, the Legacy 600 is powered by two Rolls-Royce AW 3007A1E engines, each producing 8,000 pounds of thrust. The aircraft requires 5,615 feet, or 1,710 meters of runway to take off on a standard day. The engines allow a maximum rate of climb per minute of 3,000 feet or 915 meters and a maximum cruising altitude of 41,000 feet or 12,500 meters. The plane has a maximum speed of Mach 0 0.80 or 460 knots, a maximum cruise speed of Mach 0 0.78 or 447 knots, with an average hourly fuel burn of 300 gallons or 1,135 liters. The jet has a maximum range of 3,400 nautical miles, which is 3,900 miles or 6,300 kilometers, and a minimum landing distance of 2,685 feet or 818 meters, all while maintaining a maximum net payload of 5,200 pounds or 2,360 kilograms, and a full fuel payload of 1,500 pounds or 680 kilograms. Overall, the aircraft is 86 feet 5 inches or 26.35 meters long and 22 feet 2 inches or 6.75 meters high, and the wingspan is almost 69 feet or 21 meters. If you want to keep this airplane stored under roof with any kind of space for automobiles and aircraft tugs, you'll need a hangar with a volume of 10,000 square feet or 950 square meters. And depending on where you base, those can be hard to come by. Fueling the legacy will also take some time and resources. Full fuel amounts to 2,680 gallons or 10,000 liters. The Legacy 600 wasn't always the plane you see today. When Legacies began arriving in the U.S. in 2002, they were plagued by interior fit and finish and cabin noise problems, and a series of airworthiness directives that covered everything from the passenger seat's floor tracking to inadequate drainage of leaking fuel. Most of these issues have been resolved. However, be cautious against early serial numbers, as more recent aircraft have the extra 2 inches or 5 centimeters of headroom because of the addition of a dropped center aisle and are materially quieter due to additional soundproofing. The cabin noise problems were not entirely unexpected. The Rolls-Royce engines were tweaked to provide more power than those used on the airliner versions of the aircraft, and the Legacy is typically flown higher and faster than its commuter cousins. On early models, passengers reported noisy forward cabins. In 2003, Embraer began a campaign to improve and quiet the cabin, using isolators to absorb vibration from wall and ceiling panels, partitions and furniture, including galleys, cabinets, credenzas, and the lavatory. Other incremental improvements began to take hold as well. The base purchase price for a new Embraer Legacy 600 is $26 million before options, and the charter price is estimated at $8,000 to $12,000 per hour. Naturally, prices will vary depending on availability, fuel prices, ground fees, and more. While the annual fixed cost is roughly $800,000 to $1,200,000, the average hourly operating cost is estimated at $4,000 to $6,000. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.